Hey guys, welcome back to the sixth episode of Let's Play Space Engineers. Um, oh, look at this. See, the sun is rising at the beginning of the episode. Just as if it was planned, but it wasn't. Excuse me, my <coughs> voice is a little bit uh, raspy. Um, my son had came down with a with a cold and a fever the last few days, and I th whatever he has, I think I caught as well. It's not COVID. We tested for that, but um, uh, yeah. Uh, Nevertheless, the show must go on. Um, so, this is where we're at right now. Uh, we have like a little mining drill here in our a mining rig, um, mining ship, and a mining rig. And today, I want to um, expand the mining rig from the simple uh, it can mine down. And we already did this. Let's make sure the jetpack is on so we don't fall to our death. Um, so we already did this. And we've got a bunch of resources from that. Let's actually quickly check what resources we have. <clears throat> oh, looks like 5,000 iron, some nickel, some silicon. Um, the cobalt is, is, is still from the cobalt that we collected way over there uh, in the first or second episode or whatever. Um, <clears throat> regardless of that, um, I want to expand this and I want to make this a three-dimensional uh, mining drill. Right now, it's one-dimensional, right? Like, it can go up and down, and that's that's it. Um, but I wanted to be able to go up and down, uh, in and out, and left and right, I guess. <clears throat> um, and for that, we will need a couple more pistons. Um, well, technically, we need at least four more pistons. I wanted two pistons to go uh, in the... I guess that's the the y-axis and two pistons in the x-axis i'm probably confusing this right now i x and y so yeah i don't know whatever it is uh four more pistons <clears throat> and then i i looked at this and at least after we attached a bunch more pistons we actually might be able to fit a third piston in the uh, vertical axis here without the mining drill bumping into the ground we might do that as well, if we can. Um, so, oh, let's turn on the UI. We do want the UI. Um, so, let's quickly look uh, what the what the cost for pistons is. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Still play construction, so not, not a lot. We, we definitely have those. We have, uh, we have that. Um, <clears throat> so we don't have to worry about that. But what we do need to do is we actually need to um, grind down all the parts. Including the conveyors up here. We can leave that one piston here. That's, I guess, all we can do. Um, I guess in theory we might be able to <clears throat> somehow construct this uh, in a way that we don't have to grind everything down and rebuild everything. Um, I don't know. Maybe. But I'm not sure how. <laughs> so we're just going to grind it down. Uh, I'd, I'd rather grind it down and lo not lose any of the material. Uh, before we start grinding it down, though, I want to check that there's no... Uh, nothing actually in... Uh, in the uh, thing here, so there's nothing in a mining rig drill. By the way, I find I, I learned why the color. So <clears throat> the color of the miner is different of the miner inventory because it's it's a separate grid, right? It's like a it's like a small grid spacecraft or well, I guess not spacecraft technically, but craft. Um, and <clears throat> the color of the mining rig drill here is different because it's what it's called a subgrid. And it is a subgrid because it is connected to a uh, top piston part. Um, I guess technically the sub a subgrid starts up here and it goes till there, and then a new subgrid starts there and goes till here, and then a new subgrid starts there. Um, <clears throat> so learn something new. I don't remember where I read it, but I read it about the summer. Um, but okay, so like, did I check if 
they're empty. I think it was empty, right? The mining rig drill is empty. And the, the other parts, they're just passed through. They're just conveyors, so they can't actually store items. Okay, so we can drill down this here. We want to make sure that our inventory doesn't overflow. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just uh, store everything here quickly. Whoops. And then here. Another thing I realized. Did I lose something? Maybe I did. That's fine. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, so I don't think I have to go onto the other side here. Is there anything else that I can get rid of? Oh. <clears throat> I don't think we need the, the weapon right now. Um. What was I saying? I was talking about something, I forgot what it was. Oh, we are going to run out of ice at some point. Um, so we will have to get some ice eventually. But for now, I think it's not a super high priority. We still have plenty of ice. We haven't been using a lot of hydrogen. We've been kind of very uh, um, sparingly using our jetpack. And let's stick with that. Um, I think we can leave that. We do need still a corner piece. So, <clears throat> we remove those. So now, let's see. Um, we need... Energy low. Oh, energy's low. Let's uh, fix that. So we, what we need is... Um, two piston. Two more pistons. A corner conveyor. Another corner conveyor. And at least two more pistons. So, <clears throat> let's get that into mobile planner here. One, two, three, four at least, right? In fact, six actually. Six. I want, this is probably going to be way too much material. Um, and then we need... So let's do it differently. We also need top piston parts. By the way, I'm using middle mouse button here to, to skew those. So that's... A total of four. Okay, that's all. That's all we can fit. Okay, so let's grab the material. And whatever we don't have, we... Actually, sorry. Whatever we don't have, we... Inventory is full, so maybe we actually have enough material. Um, we just can't fit it in our inventory. So let's start building first. Get our in in inventory a little emptied. Okay, so there's one piston. Two pistons. And I just realized that um, I'm actually not... 100% sure what small conveyor. I need, I need regular conveyor, though. Where do I have that? Is this here? Cargo container? No. Um, do I not have it here anywhere? Oh, here, conveyor. There. <clears throat> so, I think we're going to go left or right. That's actually a good question. So we have two pistons coming out here. Um, and then we need to either go left or right. Um, if we go left, will we clear these? I think we will. I'm pretty, I'm very confident that we will. Um, if we go right, this, ooh. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> oh, I should put some blocks over that. Otherwise, it, this will kill me one day. Um, if we go right, there's nothing in the way. Um, <clears throat> can take a big hole over there. I think we should go right. Hmm? Right? Right, right? Um, okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Two. 
Seven was the... Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I want. One here, and then... More pistons. One and two. And then we're going down again. Yep, perfect. It's almost like the game knows what, I, what I'm planning here. Okay. So, now the question is... Can we fit a third piston and then the... The drill? Or will this... I have a feeling this is not going to fit. No. How much space is missing? I Can I even see this? I can't really see it, huh? I kind of I I I do want to do this, I feel like. How can I see this? Can I go into uh, third person? Uh, how do I go into third person? I forgot. I forgot how to go into third person. Guys, let me know in the comments below how to go into third person. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know how much space I need to... I, I could carve out the space. I might try. I, let's let's quickly try this. Um, it seems otherwise. Like it, I won't take too much effort here. But like, and then we have an entire additional piston in, in depth that will give us significantly more material uh, times every single one of the of the holes that we're gonna drill. <coughs> let's see here. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, nice. I like it. Okay, so we got this. Let's uh, start welding. Just stick all the material in here. I don't even know if I, if I grabbed material for these. I don't think I did. Let's just stick with the pistons then for now. Whoa. I was thinking it would be cool to play this game in VR, but like, as you're flying around with the jetpack and you're like upside down and spinning around, it's like, oh, I don't know how, uh, how well. There we go. Okay. So let's, let's grab some more material here. Okay. Inventory is full again. Um, let's just build all of these pistons. Top, top piston part. Oh yeah, I didn't, didn't actually start those. They're easily forgotten. When you're building pistons, don't forget the top piston parts. Weld it all up. Get more steel plates. Computers. Okay, let's get some more material here. I'm just testing my reactions here. <laughs> Still working. Still working. Good. Okay, I can actually grab stuff from here. Oh, I should. Middle mouse button. Okay. I'm still filling everything up. Um, let's push this here. Yeah, there's actually a lot of steel tubes in these uh, top piston parts that you technically don't need. But, you know... I feel like we have enough material now. Don't have to cheap out anymore. 
maybe we don't have enough material. <laughs> okay, I think we need to go and get more. Okay, now we, the rest we don't. We need to build the rest. So shift middle mouse button, I think it was, right? Yeah. Some more welding. Weld it all up. Weld it up. Oh, ouch. Uh, so one other thing that I want to do, um, once I'm done with this here, I want to build a refinery. <clears throat> and so a refinery will take a lot of steel. Um, but it will actually, when it comes to converting... I'm a little bit confused that I don't have more material right now. But when it comes to converting the ores into stone... My build panel is empty. Did I... Oh, I think I only had four pistons in my build planner, right? Okay. Let's, um... Okay, let's see here. The piston part... What do I have in my build planner now? Not that many. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what's going on here. Okay. <clears throat> um, but... The refinery will allow me to process uh, all the resources that I collect with this mining rig and my little mining vehicle like much more efficiently. Like I think uh, 42 or 47% more efficiently. So like essentially the yield will be... Like even without any modules, which... I'll explain in a second, but like, uh, or like when we actually buy built a refinery. So basically, TLDR is the refinery you can attach uh, modules to. Um, that those modules will either increase efficiency or yield, yada yada yada. So you can basically make the refinery even better than what it already is. Um, but even without any modules, the refinery compared to the basic refiner which I have right now. Uh, will be uh produce material significantly more efficiently um so I, I feel like even though it's a lot of material that is required in the long term it, it's definitely going to be worth it <clears throat> no no signal was detected yeah i'm gonna Add this also to the build plan and start producing those. Actually, that's maybe not a great idea. I might still have a bunch of those materials. smart. I just added the things that I have in the build planner to the production queue again. Hope this is done. This is done. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? Let's do play it. Add it. Add it. Add it. Add it. Add it. Come on. Add it. Okay, let's. Um. Grab some stuff and then. Add the rest to the build plan, uh, to the construction queue. Okay. 
Yeah, well, the refinery is like a big investment up front. I think like long term, it's definitely going to be worth it. Okay, getting there. Steel tubes, and let's uh, now let's add the drill, build banner. Some more stuff, and then add the rest to the construction queue. While we will here, can start constructing stuff. Oh yeah. <clears throat> How much iron do we still have? We had like five. Th we used a thousand roughly. Wow. I expected it. I did not expect it to uh, use up that much material was basically only like a couple pistons that we built new. I guess a couple pistons is seven. <laughs> okay, let's uh <clears throat> Come on. Oh no, I added them to the build planet again. That wasn't smart. Seventeen more construction components. We're still building those, right? Oops. Let's be happy. Okay. Yeah, we've got everything. <clears throat> cool. And this should finish this. Uh, let's look into inventory quickly. Yeah, like a bunch of things here <clears throat> that we don't really need. Yeah, let's double check that we actually completed everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. Okay. I think we're good. Um. <clears throat> Let's go on to the other side here. Oh, hole in the ground. Okay. Okay, menu. So yeah, we have a bunch of pistons here now. So first, we need to figure out which piston is what. Um, we already have the vertical piston, right? Um, <clears throat> this mining rig, M -m mining rig. Mining rig, vertical lift piston, yeah. So let's um, just reverse each of these pistons. Oh, 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 oh. That's, just, that's not a good idea. Let's quickly fix that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's not. Okay, that's that piston. Um, a bunch of you guys recommended um, <clears throat> uh, recommended a mod called Build Vision. I will make it really easy for me to figure out which piston is which and rename them and stuff. So I'm, I'm going to look into installing that um, for next time. Um, I I record these episodes in, in small batches, so, so it might be a couple more episodes um, before I start using that. So... Please, uh, please give me some time. But, um, uh, sorry, the reason why I freaked out was I was really afraid I would <clears throat> break the the mining drill. Um, and the reason why I was afraid of breaking the mining drill is because this piston is still at 50 kilonewtons. Um, that's a lot of force that's going to be put onto that mining drill. 
um, if it can actually go into the ground. So I'm going to change this. Um, Energy it appeared like 50,000 was okay. I'm going to change to 5,000. So the way to pull up this input menu, by the way, is by control clicking on it. So if I control click, I get to... Like normally I can just like use this uh, little slider. And if I control click, um, I can get that, I get an input box and it's easier to type it in. <clears throat> um, I'm also going to, let me actually select all of these pistons. So I'm going to change the, the maximum impulse to 5,000 just so that I'm not putting too much force on it. Um, I think 2,000, 2000 is actually enough, uh, for the majority of the pistons. Uh, I think that's what I used here, yeah. Let's let's leave it at two thousand. We can always go up if the if they don't actually move. Um, and then the other thing that we want to do is reduce the velocity. Um, I want to set the velocity. <clears throat> I think um, I've never actually tested this well myself, but um, something like point four is a good. Uh, total velocity for the mining drill head, drill head. But obviously, since we're gonna move a bunch of pistons together, um, <clears throat> we might want to move them. Uh, and in fact, like to to vertically lower the piston, uh, the the mining drill head, we'll have this piston, that piston, that piston, and this piston all move at the same time. So each of them should be moving at point one. So I'm gonna set all of them to point one for now. So we're going to select all of these pistons again. And I think this might have been already what I said for the... Yeah. What I set this piston to already. Actually, I think it's less. I think it's... This is just a rounded value. I think it's... So let's just use this value here. Let's stick with that for now. Um, actually needs to be negative for these pistons. Um, because all of these are extending... This one is... Uh, all of these are extending to open, and this one is retracting to lower the mining drill head. <coughs> um, yeah, let's... Let's work on uh, identifying the, the pistons. So... We already know that this one is this one. So I'm going to call this... Mining rig... Right. Vertical piston one. Uh, let's double check it. Let's uh, reverse for it to open. There we go. And it's moving. It's moving slow now, and that's that's good. Um, so let's reverse that back, and let's look at this one here. Yeah, that's the next one right there. Okay. Let's reverse that back and rename it. Mining rig vertical piston 2. There we go. And what's the chance going to be that this one is this one? Yeah, looks good. Um, reverse it again, and then rename it Mining Rig Vertical Piston 3. <clears throat> so we have four more to identify. I'm a little bit more concerned about um, reversing these pistons. Uh, because, yeah, it's actually struggling, you see, I can't move here, it, uh, the voxels are in the way. I think it, mm, I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, I can show you how we can find out. Um, if we turn on the mining drill... It's 
the right one? Yeah, I think so, right? Uh, mining rig drill. Rename it again. I think the, <clears throat> I think it used to be named this, but since we ground it down, um, uh, let's turn it on. Energy low. Yeah. Okay. Let Let's uh, let that run for a little bit. Uh, because now the piston should be able, and let's recharge here as uh, energy. The piston should be extending now, since they're. It's gonna bump up against the. Uh, the voxels, but the mining drill is gonna grind away the voxels. <clears throat> um. Oh yeah, there we go. It's this one right there. So. You see how this mining rig, uh, the, the drill is bumping around violently. I know how to fix it, but I also believe, at least in my previous testing, that this is not actually going to cause any problems. I've never seen it fail. It sounds unbelievable, but, uh, yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> Those reactions here. Okay, uh, let's, um... So this is... This piston, let's reverse it again. Just to get it back. And... We'll call it Mining Rick. Uh... What is that? we say that X piston is that X I don't know Z this is X right this is Y so this is whatever it doesn't matter we'll just we'll just call it X Yeah, my, my engineering street street pad is, is gone. <laughs> um, for you guys that don't know, uh, uh, my name's Daniel. I'm a, uh, I used to be a software engineer in Silicon Valley for the last 10 years. Before that, uh, I lived in Germany. I was actually born and grew up in Germany. Um, so there's... Uh, the, the engineering is uh, both in my blood and uh, in my, my vocation, so to say. Uh, so we've got the first one. Let's let's get this other one here as well. Um, we need to reverse this, and this might be this piston here, or might be a different one. No, it's this one, right? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so. We call the other one X, so this is a Y piston. Mining, mi mi mining rig. Y piston uh, one. <clears throat> Let's reverse this guy. No. Probably this this one here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, let's reverse it back again. Mining rig piston Y Mining rig Y piston. Sorry. Y pis piston two. And then this one is is the last one. So this is mining rig X piston two. So now we can uh, <coughs> group these. Mining rig. Oops, that's the wrong. So X pistons. Yeah. Mining rig X pistons. Mining rig Y pistons 
and then we group the vertical pistons together and this one as well <coughs> mining rig vertical pistons I guess I could call them Z pistons but you know consistency is overrated <laughs> okay um, awesome so this rig's been running a little bit so it probably already collected um, a little bit of stone yeah not too much but let's get that processed um, <clears throat> cool 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 um, let's double check if all the pistons are back in their starting positions because they look like they're not and they might require some more power um, <clears throat> excuse me. The distance, how do I see this? Oh, here, composition zero, 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 zero. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe they are back. Okay, uh, looks good. And this is a 10, and this should be a 10. So, to kind of change the, the X and Y positions, what I will do is I will use the max uh, the uh, yeah, let's mining rig X pistons so right now they have a minimum distance and a maximum distance and the maximum distance is at 10 meters um, so I can just set the maximum distance as 2.5 meters and now when I in reverse the direction, they will start opening up, but they won't open up all the way, but only so far that it makes sense. So like two and a half meters is the width of a block. So since there are two pistons, there's a total of five meters. So it will be like roughly like two blocks distance that the mining head will like move to the side. <clears throat> and if you look at the the size of the hole that it digs, um it's like roughly two blocks, maybe a little bit more, but but it's fine. So like if we if we if we offset it by two blocks or five meters, uh, every time before we start lowering it again to drill a new hole, then we'll 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 maximize its efficiency um, without losing without like having any walls or so left. I guess we we might be able to do more, but two and a half also has the benefit of fitting neatly into the ten meters. So it's like we have like. Uh, a total of five stops, right? At zero, two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten meters. <clears throat> Gonna do the other uh, for these Y mining rigs as well. Uh, maximum distance, two and a half meters. And then the vertical pistons, they need to go all the way down. So that's fine. <clears throat> um, an unknown signal. Hmm. Let's see how close it comes. Whoa, that... It's falling really quickly. <clears throat> um... So to control this, we, could, we can just go in here and we can, uh... Control it through the control panel. But I think I want a little... <clears throat> Excuse me. An actual control panel. Uh, what is it called? Is it called control panel? Hmm. No, what is it? A button panel? Hmm. Ah, what is it called? Not a seat. <laughs> what is it called? Why can't I find it? Oh, this is annoying. Hey guys, editor me here. 
At this point my camera died and I didn't notice until after I finished recording. So from this point on you will have to deal with not being able to look at my beautiful face. Enjoy the rest of the video. Oops. <clears throat> Do I Maybe you don't have them unlocked yet. That's absolutely possible. Here, button panel. So I guess I don't have it unlocked yet. I need to build a battery. Um, <laughs> or a small battery. Or a whopper battery. Let's build a small battery. Let's uh, cheapen in resources. Go. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Let's grind it down again. Uh, and now, yes, now we have a button panel. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I guess we can put it here. Huh? What are the other ones that we have here? Control panel, button panel, control panel. Oh, just those two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put this... Let's... Uh, put it right here, I think. Uh, let's see. Do I have all the construction components for it? No. Let's add these. Grab. Build what we don't have. Let's grab what we need. Grab some more. Let's grab some more. <laughs> oh, come on! Ah. Uh, there we go. Now we have everything. Okay. So why did we build this button panel? Because we can uh, use it to control the drill. Um, I'm gonna do it simple for now. So this here is the K menu of the drill. We see all the different. <clears throat> blocks here. Um, this button one, two, three, and four. First button, we will toggle the grill. Drill. <clears throat> Second button will reverse the direction of the vertical pistons. Reverse. <clears throat> uh, the X pistons will increase the maximum distance, and this will increase maximum distance on the Y pistons. Actually, I realized something. I did a mistake earlier, uh, and that is on the first level the pistons. The maximum distance needs to be zero on both of these. And now what we can do is we can reverse the direction. And they won't, won't actually move. Right? Because they're already at the maximum distance. Please tell me that I'm right. No. Is that a... I thought I saw it moving, but I guess I'm not. Uh, let's double check. We can actually just look at the... 
composition. Yeah, that looks good. All at zero still. Right? But now, if we hit this button... Um, I think every time we hit it, it increases the distance. So I just hit F. And it should make these pistons stand. Although I'm not sure if which ones were the X ones. These ones here. And you can see they're both moving here. Uh, <clears throat> and pushing them once increases the maximum distance 2.5. So if we wanted to, to get to 2.5, we need to press them five times. Um, but for now, I'm just going to undo this. Uh, let's back in here. <clears throat> okay, I think they're coming. A little slow, but they are moving. Let's double check if they're all the way back yet. There we go. No, they are. <clears throat> so what we can do now is we can mine some material and let's double check quickly what our inventory says here um this cobalt is really annoying me <laughs> it's gonna get in my way but it's it's fine um <clears throat> So, we can use the first button to turn off on the, the drill. That's awesome. Go back on again. There we go. And now, we can reverse the vertical pistons direction, which will lower the mining drill and should give us loads of stone. There we go. It's working. Um, and all three pistons here are extending, and this one is retracting. What should be, at least. Let's see it actually do that right now. Oh no, it is, it is, yeah. Okay, perfect. And this will mean we're collecting a lot of stone right now here. And let's get that cobalt behind that stone. So just that we are processing the stone while we are accumulating it. Um, we're definitely going to accumulate the stone quicker than, than, than process it. So Cool. This will give us all the material we need for larger projects. Um, for now, I'm going to let this run and say thank you for watching. Um, next time, we're going to build a refinery and we'll talk a little bit about modules. I think that makes a lot of sense. And uh, see if we can um, then utilize these resources that we're collecting here to build that refinery because as I mentioned it, it, it'll require a, a bunch I'll probably bu collect some of these uh, resources off screen just let the mining drill do its thing um, yeah but uh, thanks a lot for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that'll help with YouTube and the algorithm and show it to more people and if you want to see more videos like this please make sure to subscribe I upload Space Engineers videos twice a week and all my other shows I, I upload once a week for a total of I think what is it now five videos a week um and uh, if you uh, have something to say, please do so in the comments below. Let me know how I'm doing. If you have any additional mod recommendations or other recommendations for my builds um, uh, or whatever, uh, please let me know. Um, I respond to all your comments and I'm uh, always very happy to, to hear from you guys. So thanks a lot for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.